In this video, we're gonna be using the Shaving Shop Club Melon and Mimosa Stink Like a Stallion and the Shoemate Razor with a brand new edge. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and man, have I been looking forward to doing this video. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a very special video today because we're using Melon and Mimosa Stink Like a Stallion and this is a tribute to uh, Anthony Esposito, the stallion, he suggested this scent to Pete from my Ariana and Evan slash The Shaving Shop Club, and boy, is it a beautiful scent. Oh, just It just smells like you were cutting that honeydew melon um, in the summertime. Ah, oh, it just, so beautiful. Scent is right around that medium level. The price on this is a fair price. Uh, can't tell you how much, because in the Shave and Shop Club, we're not allowed to talk about the price, but it is under $5 an ounce, which on our cost chart is a fair price. This is in the Kaizen 2 formula, which you know is one of the best soaps on the market. We'll put the ingredients for you right there. And oh, what a scent. I love the scent. It is not uber sweet. It is not a candy-like scent. This to me smells like, uh, just like you're cutting honeydew. It is beautiful. And if you're a person who appreciates um, clean, fresh scents, I think you're gonna love it. We'll show you the notes right there. We have honeydew, bergamot, mimosa, sandalwood and cedar. I don't get the sandalwood and cedar. All I get is a beautiful, beautiful uh, melon and it is really, oh, it's, it smells spectac spectacular. So I'm sure this is going to be a hit soap. And this is currently sold out, but there will be more in about a week or so in the shaving shop club. And then after they're gonna release it, more widely to the public so stay tuned this one is a great great scent i absolutely love it all right the razor today uh is a shoemate razor it was a gift from uh, mike baker and i put my own edge on it i took it down to the shapton glass 4k uh did about 40 laps on it shapton 8k about 25 to 30 laps uh nanawa 12k 12 k 25 to 30 and uh, suhiru 20k about 25 laps. So we, we'll we see how we've done today. And also today, we're using a very special brush because this is stink like a stallion we're using here. We are using, for the first time ever, a Savile Row. And this was sent to me by Scott Leslie. Thank you so much, Scott. I absolutely love it. This is a horse of a brush. I believe it's 3328. 28 millimeter, but that knot is massive. Like, look at it in front of my <laughs> It is a massive knot. And so if we struggle with lathering, it's because it's a badger and I'm not used to it. But Scott uh, loves Savile Row, like the stallion does. And he said, look, I used to be a synthetic guy like you that used only synthetics. And I tried Savile Row and I loved it. And I wanted you to, to have one. And so thank you very much, Scott. Captain's Choice Bowl. The Kaizen lathers beautifully. And so let's see how we do with this brush oh man oh that is a soft knot wow we oh that's like a pillow on my face wow yeah i'm liking that knot scott and it holds a lot of water you can see there's water running down the <laughs> handle there a little bit different from uh synthetics synthetics will hold a little water but not nearly as much as badger and this is one of the softest knots that I've ever felt of any kind. Now, years ago, I used Badgers regularly. But for whatever the reason, I never tried a Savile Row. And so thank you so much, Scott. This might be a brush that turns the corner for me on Badger. Um, I do have a vintage Badger that I love, EverReady, sent to me by David of Augusta. And so this will make two, man, and that feels nice Whew. very nice and you get the lines in the lather there a little bit more than i'm used to with my synthetics but i'm going to tell you right now that is nice and plenty of lather here this knot is a horse of a knot and i'm telling you right now if you like soft poof this thing is just massively soft that's a lot more lather than i actually need but for my first time using the savile row and i am impressed it feels the way I like a knot to feel, which is soft, not scrubby. I don't need a lot of backbone. I don't really have a use for a lot of backbone, personally, because I don't want to scrub my face because I'm about to drag the sharp steel across it. 
So me, for me, when it comes to face fatigue, less is more. I don't really want to scrub my face. Now I do have a couple of bumps, so if I open them up, we won't blame the razor. And let's get going, make sure I get my hands dry. This soap, <sighs> the scent, spectacular on this soap. Let's see how we do with our edge. Beautiful. Oh man, that feels nice. I don't know if you can hear that, but beautiful. That's very nice. That's very, very nice. Woo, maybe we're on to something. Again, I killed the edge and took it down to the Shapton Glass 4K, Shapton Glass 8K, the HC um, version of the Shapton Glass, the Nanoa Superstone 12K, and on to the Suhiru. So he row 20K. Wow. And this edge is fantastic. And now this is the second one in a row that I have really, really liked using that progression. Very nice, I'm digging that. I might have scratched myself a little with the, the tip, but uh, I tell you what, that edge is performing very, very nicely. Um, that is exactly what I wanted to do is replicate what I did the other day and we've done it. So <laughs> I'm quite excited about that. And this soap just fills the, the uh, restroom here with what I think is a very wonderful, natural smelling melon. Right there is where I have the bumps, so we'll try not to open them up. But if they do, they didn't belong there anyway. They deserve to be scalped. <laughs> wow. I tell you what, it's really a pleasure today to use the soap and the Savile Row and honor my friend, Anthony Esposito. And we don't agree on every, uh, every single thing in the hobby. You know, no one does, nor no one... Uh, nor should anyone have to agree with their friends, but I've got to tell you, his enthusiasm lately has been quite infectious. He's been on a very positive and upbeat trend, and uh, I have really been enjoying his stuff. So this soap came at the perfect time where his positivity has been through the roof, and so I, for one, really appreciate that. So thank you, Stallion. So a couple of things I want to mention today. First, I want to give a shout out to Miss Savannah. Again, Eric and Savannah, who watch together. Eric and his lovely daughter, Savannah. Savannah, good morning. It's good to see you. Hope you all are doing well. And of course, Eric. I also want to let you all know that sometimes, I mentioned this before, the comments will just simply disappear. Yesterday, Joe, who's a regular viewer and commenter, made a comment. I'll show it to you right there. And he was just talking about uh, uh, edges. Nothing profane, nothing of, you know, no links or anything that YouTube seems to have a problem with, and it just disappeared. And so I always uh, caution you, if you don't hear back from me and you make a comment, it could be because YouTube, for whatever reason, has just blown the comment out or it never appeared. I got that email with Joseph's comment in it, but it never appeared on the channel, and it's not in the held for further review or spam area. So I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate your comments. And if you don't get a response, then it might be because it just simply never appeared. So please don't think I ignore you because I appreciate you. And Scott, thank you so much for this. Wow, we, what a brush. I tell you right now, there will be more Savile Rose in my future after this one. If their knots are consistently this soft, th this is exactly what I'm looking for in a badger knot. And it's not shedding. And that is big with me. I hate, I am just very annoyed by shedding. And I understand you'll have, within the first few uses of a brush, you will have some shedding. Uh, and sometimes even synthetics will, will shed for a few uses, but the problem tends to apply more to badgers um, for whatever the reason. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but they tend to shed more. And uh, I just don't, I just really don't care for that. I want to thank Mike Baker again for this wonderful razor. I enjoyed uh, using your edge, Mike. It was a great edge on the Escher. 
And now we've put our own edge on it, and I love this little razor, so thank you very much, Mike. And thank you for your honing advice. If you guys haven't checked out Mike Baker, he is really a wealth of information. And one of the things he said this morning really resonated with me, and it was about lather. And he made a point that with DE shaving, you can really get away with a fluffy, fluffy lather, and it's no problem. And he's 100% right. He's 100% right. Now, um, he also mentioned that some people come from DE shaving to straight razor shaving and they get a feel of tugginess. And he mentioned that sometimes that's because you don't have enough hydration in your lather and there's some drag on the skin because you don't, you know, if you have a, a fluffy lather, it's not slick as you need it be. And I agree with him on that. And also I would say when you're shaving with a DE blade, that blade is about one and a half inches wide. When you're shaving with a straight razor, the edge or the blade is anywhere from, you know, two and a half to three inches wide. Excuse me there, got a little sloppy. Um, anyway, the point I'm getting at is you're cutting a lot more hair at one time. So there will be the feeling of a little more resistance as compared to a DE. So keep that in mind. It's not gonna feel the same. And I think that hurdle when you start straight razor shaving is hard to get over because you're feeling like maybe the blade isn't sharp and the blade is sharp. It's just that it's a very different sensation because you're cutting with this blade twice as much hair at one time than you are with the DE razor. So please keep that in mind. If you're just starting out with straights, it's going to feel a little bit different. So if you're using a blade from a reputable honer, and, you know, they are known to put out good edges. You can probably assume that the edge is good and that it's just you're getting used to the feeling of a straight razor, which is very, very different from a DE. And there will at least initially be that um, feeling of resistance, like it's tugging, but it may not be the edge. So when you first start, I think the biggest hurdle for me was getting over that difference of, you know, the difference in the way it feels when you're shaving with a much smaller blade, a DE blade, an inch and a half versus something like this that's two and three quarters to three inches, getting twice as much hair at one time. And also I had to change my lather to make sure I had more hydration in it for the reason Mike mentioned is, when you have a blade of this size on your face, if it's not supremely slick, it will sort of grab the skin in places and it'll make it feel like it's tugging when it may very well not be the edge, it might be you and your lather. So just keep that in mind. Boy, I tell you what, really, really enjoyable today. And let's keep that water, water going there. And this knot here, just feels like, I know this is often said about brushes, but this truly feels like a big pillow in my face. And so I'm gonna have to ask the stallion and Scott, if their knots are this soft by default, I'm in. I'm gonna be having some more Savile Rose and Badgers because this is exactly what I'm looking for. Now, keep in mind years ago, I tried Morris and Fondren, Fader, Shave Mac, Simpson, you name it. Up until the point where brushes started getting crazy expensive with, you know, $500 brushes, I had tried most of the Badger, Rooney, um, you name it, I tried it early on, all of them. And I just didn't care for them relative to synthetics. But this one here, this is a game changer for me. Scott, you've opened up another door to some enjoyment for me. Thank you very much. And also I would credit David from Augusta, because he sent me a vintage brush that I absolutely love. It's fantastic. I need to get a little bit more water. Lather's a little thick today, but again, I'm not super familiar with this brush, but I tell you what, this soap is fantastic. The quality, it can be not, it really cannot be denied. A&E, the quality of this soap is just absolute 
first rate. And the soap today smells so good. This is a home run for me. It is, it will be among my favorite soaps automatically because I just love this scent. If you are a person who loves clean and fresh, um, you are likely going to like this. It would be hard to find it offensive because it's such a, for me, a natural smelling melon. And I am really digging it. And this is a big time winner. And so great job, Pete. Great job, Stallion. A very good team there. <laughs> All right, let's finish on with our final pass here. The edge today has been very much to my liking. It is not the best edge that I've ever produced, but it's like the last one in that it's plenty sharp and it is smooth. There's no roughness to it and it's cutting well. And so that is enough to make me very happy. And I think the progression that I'm using is, uh, is working. And so we look forward to, I hunted about four or five razors this weekend using this progression. So we'll continue to try the other razors. And if we uh, have this consistent, good result, I'm gonna be very happy with, with that. And I gotta thank, again, the stallion for getting me started in this and helping me with honing. And uh, Michael Schultz, who recently I've been talking to a lot and because his edges, I've really appreciated a lot. And so I wanted to, to figure out how to, to how to make edges or put edges on razors that are similar to what he's doing because I really like his edge. Now edge preference is highly subjective. You may want it super sharp. You may want it a little more smooth. I mean, everybody has different preferences, but his edges were just phenomenal, all of them. And I wanted to try to learn because his edge is perfect for me. And the level of sharpness and smoothness is so good that I just wanted to be able to, to, uh, um, bang out those sort of edges myself. And I think we've got, we found a very good progression. And so today's shave is, is just as good as I expected. And I'm super happy with it. Let's wipe off the blade here again. Thank you, Mike Baker. And go check out Mike. He's got lots of great videos and he's a wealth of information. And thank you very much, Mike. Okay, let me rinse. We'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back. And that was just a tremendous shave. Off cam, warm water rinse. We followed with the PAA alum. Followed that with a cold rinse. Almost no stinging. This edge today was just fantastic. Thank you, Mike, for the with the gift. Um, boy, I was so happy with the edge today. It's just, it's really a great feeling. The soap, this is an absolute winner. I don't have the splash yet because I didn't know if I would like the scent because it has, it has mimosa in it, which is a flower. And a lot of times I don't like florals, but this is a big thumbs up. Great scent. If you like fresh, uh, clean scents or you think the scent of a melon smells nice, this is an absolute winner. Congrats, Stallion. Big time winner, one of my favorite scents. I mean, first time I've used it, Absolutely love it. The brush from Scott Leslie has opened doors for me. This is a game changer for me. Absolutely awesome. I love it. Thank you, Scott. I can't thank you enough. This is a brush I'm going to be using a lot, and I'm going to add some friends to that brush. You can believe that. Off cam, of course, we use the Thayer's Magic because it made because it's made by witches. And today we're going to close out with the uh, Mal Tangerine, just because I don't have uh, the the. Uh, Melon and Mimosa Splash yet, I will get it because he's gonna have more of this uh, either towards the end of this week or next week. I will be ordering that splash. This soap is just an absolute winner once again. You can't deny that the Shaving Shot Club Pete is one of the premier soap makers out there. Just absolutely top rate. This is one of the best shaves and favorite, most fun shaves I've had for a long time. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time. Been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.